It's a spit too. People spit in it, you know? Without even looking in it, that's absolutely <coughs> disgusting. Look in it. Yeah, it's full of spit. Regular spit, gross tobacco spit, chewing gum, and it even looks like a few teeth as well. It's disgusting. And the smell, even from a distance, smells horrible. Disgusting. Let's look closer. You are now on your hands and knees, peering into a filthy encrusted spittoon. I don't, I don't understand what is wrong with you. Wait, is there something shiny at the bottom? Probably not, but let's reach in it anyways. What's up guys? Today we're gonna try out West the Loathing. Let's be cowboys, shall we? We are going to be Kodiak Canton. Ha <laughs> ha. Let us go. W A S D. I don't see any W. Bum bum. Oh. That's boring. Comb your hair one last time. Yeah. Hey, wrestle. How you're doing? Ha! I missed you, buddy. Ha! Ha! You grab a cricket from your cricket bag and feed it to Russell. He coos appreciatively and nuzzles your hand. Maybe it's time for you to leave too. You open the bedroom window, not picture, and unlatch the door to Russell's cage. He winks at you, caws one last time and flies away to the west. Godspeed, bird. Godspeed. Time to hit the trail. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, we cleaned up. It's mom's pie safe. It keeps all her pies safe. Your little brother's room. Would you turn that music down? Damn! Your family's farm. I'm leaving now, Mom. We're gonna miss you, kiddo, and before you leave, I got you a present. Present? Yep. It's that book you wanted from Crimbo. No, it's early, but... Uh... The one about picking locks? That's the one! Enjoy it! Please be careful out there when you can. I will, Mom. Bye! Hey, you got a needle out of a haystack. Go west, young man. Ha! Huh. Look at us going west, guys. Man, nobody goes west like we do. Look at that. Such elegance. Such grace. 200 miles later. Oh. got a dusty turnip. Beg your pardon, mister. Excuse me, mister. Watch it, buddy. Yuck. Yuck, 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 yuck. Boring Springs Sheriff's Office. How the stranger. Welcome to Boring Springs. I'm sheriffing these perks. The what? The sheriff, okay? Blasted sign painters. Say, you wouldn't be happy to look, be looking for work, would you? As a matter of fact, I am. Great, because I happen to have some. There's a gang of hoodlums around here. We call themselves the Fricker Gang. Last time I arrested one of them, they busted out and took my cell door with them. It ain't, uh, well, it ain't much good without the door. And, uh, I need somebody tough, smart, or slick to go fetch it back for me. Why don't you go do it? You are the sheriff after all. <laughs> I gotta stay here and practice my chair tipping. I'll give it a shot. Finally you should say that, cause I'm sending the deputy with, along with you to keep you out of trouble. Deputy? You deputized the 
gun? You're new in town. Maybe you ain't noticed, but there ain't much here to do except drink. Here, let me ride down where the Freaker Gang's hideout is for you. Got it. I'll be back with that door. Bro. Step right up, step right up, Braid's name, Braid's the game. You seriously doubt his name is Braid. Howdy, Braid, uh, what are you trading? Well, sir, today I'm trading for locks of soap and a stick of dynamite for a needle. And to the cunning Skinner who brings me three rattlesnakes hide, well, to that adventurous soul, I will trade a fine silver pocket watch. I'll take some dynamite for this needle. Braid, which is so not a name takes your needle and hands you a stick of dynamite. Be careful with this now. Thanks. Let's go drink. As you walk into the saloon, the crazy-eyed guy sitting to the left of the door shrieks and waves at you to get your attention. Hey, 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 where's your hat, dang nabbit? Well, I, I, yeah, I can't drink in here without a hat. Tain't proper. He points to the take a hat, leave a hat box next to the door. You look through the hat box and find a magical black Stetson that looks like something you'd wear. You got item, barely enchanted hat. Thanks, sir. Pete! Thanks, Pete. He gives you a friendly, if so I'm somewhat twitchy nod. <laughs> it's a spit too. People spit in it, you know, without even looking in it. That's absolutely <laughs> disgusting. Look in it. Yeah, it's full of spit. Regular spit, gross tobacco spit, chewing gum, and it even looks like a few teeth as well. It's disgusting, and the smell. Even from a distance, smells horrible. Disgusting. Let's look closer. You are now on your hands and knees, peering into a filthy encrusted spittoon. I don't, I don't understand what is wrong with you. Wait, is there something shiny at the bottom? Probably not, but let's reach in it anyways. You reach your hand in towards the spittoon, but even before you touch it, you can feel the grossness in the air, like a greasy fog enveloping a stinking grass horror. It smells like vomit trough at a mesquite barbecue eating contest. You hesitate. Never surrender! You plunge your hand into the awful soup. It makes a sound like glob. Your skin is burning. Your eyes start to water. Search! Your fingers make contact with something. You pull your hand out out of the devil's terrine slowly, not daring to risk splashing contents over yourself. You appear to have gotten some kind of ring. Probably some kind of disease as well. Uh, congratulations? You walk up to the bar and patiently wait for the bartender to notice you. While you're waiting, you see a sign taped to the back wall reading, Reward for lost mugs, 25 meat each. The bartender finally notices you. Howdy, cowboy. Howdy, barkeep. Name's Kodiak. What brings you to the lot of little backwater? Oh, the usual. I came out west looking to make my fortune. Uh, not having much luck so far, though. Any work around these parts? Unfortunately, Bird Springs already has more people in it than jobs. It's more of a errand town, if you catch my meaning. If you're looking for a real job, I recommend talking to the railroad people up in dirty w dirt water. The railroad? Yeah, the Manifest Destiny Railroad Company from back from back east. They're so they're trying to run a line to Frisco and having a heck of time doing so. And they're hiring? No, uh, I reckon they're always hiring for one thing or another. Big company that dirt water. Dirt water is uh, interesting. It's far west, and and that's it's still more or less an example from the rule of law. But it's not far west. It's been burned to the ground by the damned cows. Lots of opportunities there. She paused for a few seconds, lost in thought. Yep, if I were a younger woman, I'd probably have that way myself. You mentioned, uh, errands? Yeah, this forsaken bird is always falling apart in one way or another. The hostler's always needing help since he hurt his leg, and that no-count sheriff couldn't ascend to have somebody do his job for him. Anything else? Well, I've got a goblin loose in the basement, some cow pokey from the gulch didn't wipe his boots off and spores everywhere. Um, I can probably handle the goblin, I think. Uh, much obliged, I'll lock the basement door for you. Oh, and you'll be needing this. Howdy, I'm Kodiak. Howdy, Kodiak, I'm horse. Nice to meet you. What do you do? I'm the town horse. Hostler. Um, uh, I don't know what that means. 
I'm the town horse selling guy. Gotcha. How's that working out for you? Oh, those horses are just flying out the door. The business is booming. Oh, nice. No. I mean, the co I meant the horses keep running away. I haven't sold one in ages. Oh. Is that why you're drinking here instead? Yeah, yep. And me being here drinking instead of watching those horses probably how they keep escaping. Yeah, <laughs> it's one of those vicious circle things. Well, I'm kind of in the need of a horse. Like, do you even have one left? Yeah, one. Kind of a boring one, but it's got four legs and a back to sit on. Come see me at the stable. I'll be happy to show it to you if it hasn't run off. This woman glares at you. You should probably just let her drink. Goblin! You got an item. Nice. Whiskey. I guess we never established your age. Good thing the legal drinking age here is as long as you can reach the bar. Excuse me! Excuse me, sir. I I I am asking you that you that you leave the premises, sir. Can you please leave the premises? Whatever. Uh, what? The uh. Oh no! The armor. Gonna attack! <laughs> Whiff! Whiff again! And one more shot! <laughs> 